So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some abstract ways on how to use Beautify to accentuate and alter backdrops in Adobe Photoshop. All right, here we are, Adobe Photoshop CC 2017, photos loaded up. Let me, guys, let me show you guys what I am talking about here. So um, I'm actually gonna be using Beautify to really just change the lighting and accentuate different areas uh, that you want the backdrop and that you've shot on the seamless paper or or, or uh, satin paper or whatever uh, you guys are shooting on uh, cloth uh, bed sheets um, you can you can change you can change uh, the lighting on on how um, the foreground is lit the background the midground uh, you can change all of that using beautify using a couple of different um, different options that it has. So this is kind of an abstract tutorial on how to use this. Typically we'd use Beautify for facial re re retouching and um, maybe garments and things of that nature, dodging and burning and changing makeup, adding some flares, bokeh, uh, these kind of things. But uh, there are some other tools that you can use in this plugin uh, that uh, function to help you with your sets and um, your overall creative uh, your, your creative vision as far as changing and altering fine, uh, fine and minute details. So um, that's, that's the before and after. So I'm gonna be doing that right now with uh, two tools. One is gonna be the mattifier. Um, and the next, I'm actually gonna put, put this down above here, put that right there. The next tool is an AB retouch. We're actually gonna be using uh, white skin. Okay, so let me explain what each of these does. Uh, mattifier is is what, it, from a retouching standpoint, is is basically putting um, like a mat. It's kind of like a powder that you uh, you put on someone's face to reduce specularity, to reduce like oiliness. So when light hits their their skin, it uh, it basically um, it smooths out the the specularity. So it's not like super bright here and dark and bright and dark. It just makes it all one uh, gra gradual tone and color. Um, so essentially the mattifier is doing that. So it's kind of just reducing and smoothing out highlights is really what it does. Uh, white skin on the other hand is kind of like, uh, it's almost like using a shadows adjustment um, in Photoshop um, or using like an exposure brush in that when you paint on the white skin, it basically increases the shadows and exposure. It does one of the two, I don't know exactly which one, but it does one of the two to uh, basically paint in brightness is really what it does at its core. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's some other things that are happening in here, uh, but essentially it's just a brightness contrast layer. So it's just increasing the brightness, maybe decreasing the contrast and it's changing the saturation a little bit. So that's really what the, these two tools are doing. Um, so uh, how do you use these when it comes to changing a backdrop in Adobe Photoshop? You guys will see here that the ground is very, uh, it right here specifically is really bright. It falls off and it gets dark over here. Um, and then for the most part, uh, this right here is the same color, but over here is a little bit dark. Well, what you do, you use the white skin by default set to 50%. We're going to set our flow and our, uh, opacity of our brush to 50%. And we're just going to paint in those areas that we want to bring up. Um, but uh, more than anything else, I just what, what happens if you want to bring up the whole background? Well, you can just paint on the whole background and you can bring up the entire background, show you the before and after. We're just painting in that, that uh, uh, brightness contrast uh, layer. Um, we're just doing that. And then, okay, what happens if I, I think the background down here is too bright well I just use the mattifier and I paint in same settings as before 50% 50% uh, give or take and uh, you just paint in and then now you can see let me do a group you can see I've completely changed the lighting so the lighting was mostly focused down here on her feet and then now the lighting is mostly focused up here on her face and not on her feet you can see the difference in exposure and you can go crazy with this. I mean, you can, this is just a, a basic example, but uh, you can paint even more and make it even darker down here. And you can just keep on going. You can add multiple mattifiers if you'd like to have this like moodier kind of look down here. And then now you can see the difference now. Now it's even more moody. Uh, you can completely get rid of this and you can make it, the, make the whole shot more moody. Um, you can paint the mattifier up here and make it more moody up here um, and paint it all down, make it darker. And then now you can see the difference there. Um, and then you can just keep on playing with it to get this certain lighting that you want. Um, I've done a video previously on how to fix bad and poopy lighting when it comes to skin tones um, in people's faces when you're actually lighting their faces. But 
Ultimately, these two tools function the same way, but you can use this for backdrops and as well as uh, fixing bad lighting on the person's face as well. Um, you can do both of those. It's kind of like similar to using the adjustment or adjustment layers in uh, Lightroom and painting it with, uh, with, uh, with, I guess, contrasts and exposure and then using the shadows and highlight sliders. It's basically the same thing. I, I didn't know Photoshop would be able to do this so easily, but yes, this is the way to do that. So I may not be using Adobe Lightroom for that functionality anymore since I have. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if I overlooked something or I missed something covered in today's video. This is Devon Lennox. You know where to find us. Photography. Peace. <laughs> 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 <laughs>